Indonesia has formally declared Prabowo Subianto as the winner of the presidential polls that were held on the 14th of February. Subianto, who secured about 58% of the total votes, is all set to take over from President Joko Widodo in the world's third largest democracy. The transfer of power will take place sometime in October. Subianto, in fact, defeated the former Jakarta governor, Anias Baswedar, who received about 25% of the votes, and the former central Java governor, Ganjar Prabowo, who secured 16% of the total votes. But dismissed from the military once and exiled in Jordan, Subianto will now become the president of the country in his third term. But his road to victory has not been free of controversies. There were concerns about his alliance with the president, Joko Widodo, who was accused of favouring him. As proposed running mate, Gibran Raka Booming Raka, who is set to become the vice president of the country, is his eldest son of the outgoing president. And even now, Obstacles remain in Indonesia's election challenges that can be registered with the Constitutional Court within three days from the announcement of the results. Both Basvedan and Pranovo have refused to concede defeat and plan to file challenges. They both have alleged fraud in the elections and the Election Commission has also announced results of the legislative elections. Indonesia's biggest party, the PDIP, backed the highest number of votes and it was followed by the Golkar Party and Prabowo's Jirinda Party in the third place. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.